so excited to have you here. If you're new, my name's Liv. Here, we're gonna be making some easy, affordable, delicious vegetarian and vegan recipes. And today, I'm gonna to be sharing with you a recipe that I make at least once a week. It's a super delicious, quick, easy lentil soup that you can make. You just need a handful of ingredients. I promise it's gonna make the best lunch. It gets even better the more you let it sit. So if you're into it, just keep watching. To start, I'm just gonna peel one brown onion and we're just gonna give it a rough dice. And after that, we're gonna move on to garlic. Here we're using about six or seven cloves. You can use as many as you like. Um, it is really nice to make this super garlicky. So we'll just give that a rough chop. If you didn't know, you don't have to peel ginger. The outside is so thin that it basically disintegrates the second it hits the pan. So I'm just gonna do a very bad job of peeling it. And now I'm gonna turn my pan on to a medium high heat and drop in about two tablespoons of olive oil. So I'm gonna put the kettle on, fill it up, get it boiling, put a cup and a half of green lentils into a bowl and we're just gonna rinse them. Rinse and repeat. So this is just to clean them, but also to get rid of some of the gas containing compounds that can be found in lentils and other legumes. So your partner and your housemates will thank you. So we're just gonna pour over some boiling water over these lentils. And now we're gonna go straight in with our onions into our heated up oil. We're gonna peel two carrots and we're just gonna slice them down the middle, then down the middle again, and we're just gonna cut them into a rough dice. Then we'll just pop them in a bowl and set them aside until we need them later on. I'm also gonna cut up some potatoes. So we wanna cut these a similar size to the carrots, maybe a little bit bigger. And we wanna keep that skin on because it's gonna keep the potato held together and also give it more flavor. So we're back to our onions, they're looking good. They're getting a little bit translucent. Now we're just gonna grate in our ginger that we didn't peel very well earlier. We're going to go in with our garlic. Now there's some little bits and bobs at the bottom of the pan. So we're just going to get some water to deglaze that and lift them up and kind of bring them off the base of the pan. And they're going to help flavor the onions and the ginger and the garlic. So now we're going in with our spices. We're going to add a teaspoon of turmeric, a teaspoon of curry powder, one teaspoon of ground cumin, and one teaspoon of ground coriander. Now our spices are gonna to stick to the base of the pan a little bit, which is totally normal and actually a really great thing. So that's gonna help release the spices flavor potential and let them bloom and let them, let them be. So now we're gonna add our potatoes. We're just gonna give it all a stir. Now the moisture from the potatoes is gonna help release some of the spices off the base of the pan, which is great. And we're just gonna add about a cup of water just to help that a little bit further and scrape the bottom of the pan while we can still see what's going on down there. So our broccoli, we're just going to take off some bite-sized chunks. You can make these as small or as large as you like. We like them quite chunky. And 
Now I'm just gonna boil the kettle. And I'm also gonna go in with two teaspoons of vegetta or any stock powder that you like. It could be chicken stock, it could be vegetable stock. And we're gonna add five cups of water. All right, we're gonna try this now for salt and pepper. So I'm just gonna get a little bit. It's really good. The salt balance, there's a bit of heat from that curry powder that we put in and the spices are, are there. We can taste them, which is exactly what we want. Remember to taste as you go along. So now we're just gonna slice up one big long red chili. And after that, we're just gonna run a knife through it again. Nothing very uniform here, just give it a rough chop. All right, now we're gonna drain our lentils that were sitting in boiling water. We're gonna pop them into the soup. So now that the lentils are equated with the rest of the soup, we can see that the soup has reduced down quite a bit, which is great. The potatoes are soft. So now we're just going to add our carrots. Give it all a mix. And now we're going to go straight in with our broccoli that we chopped up earlier. Now we want to let this simmer for as tender as you want your broccoli really. So we like it with a little bit of bite. So we'll let it simmer for about six to eight minutes. In the meantime, we're just going to take the ends off this parsley. We're not going to waste anything. So we're going to add these stalks into the soup as it's cooking. It's going to add an amazing flavor going to have time to soften. It's going to be glorious. Now for the rest of our parsley, we're just going to give it a rough chop and we'll set it aside so we can garnish our soup a little bit later on. Now we're just gonna chop a little bit of a lemon wedge to squeeze into our soup. So this is really just gonna enhance all of those flavors, make it a little bit brighter and tastier really. All right, so now we're gonna serve up. Just gonna garnish with some roughly chopped parsley, some sliced chili, and a little slice of lemon. All right, now it's time to taste our soup. I'm so excited and I'm so hungry. Mmm, it's so comforting. It's so warm. There's a little hum from the chili. The potatoes are really soft. Um, the fresh parsley on top just gives it a beautiful freshness and earthiness. It's the best. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to our channel. It really does mean a lot to us and it enables us to make more videos like this. So if you make this, drop a comment, let us know how you found it and enjoy.